What was it? I came around a corner and I thought I was supposed to see this building or something and it wasn't there and I was like, what the, did they just burn it to the ground just for me or something? But it turned out it was actually still here, obviously. But uh, I was just happened to be looking in the wrong place. But it was just after a big update and I was like, no, damn. That's gonna be tough. All right, let's shed weight. One of the things is the more weight you're carrying around, the faster you fatigue, so. Probably, probably don't need to be carrying that much water, but the hunting rifle, I almost don't need to carry my hunting rifle, but I will, because I don't know what I'm going to run into if I do find a secret place. Probably like a wolf's den or something like that, with a bunch of NPCs trapped inside. You know, like shackled, like the wolves have made them prisoners or something. Alright. Extra genes, don't need those. Don't really need to carry the reclaimed wood. Don't need to carry the extra cloth. Don't need to... Why am I not wearing that? Did I pick that up? Oh well, we're warming out. Three accelerants, that seems a bit excessive. Got two of those. Don't need to drop uns or don't need to carry unsafe water. Especially here. I'll just go outside, come back in, and it'll be potable. It's a glitch. And I was saying that for Alan's benefit. Because he knows about it. Alright. Doesn't seem like I should be carrying that a whole lot. How much tender or uh, tender plugs do I have? Just one. All right, let's harvest a couple here real quick. Rabbit gerbils. You would laugh if they end up labeling Camp Office Dude Carl for the same... Oh, you mean like giving him the actual name Carl? I don't know why I started calling him Carl. Carl Corpse. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. It just sort of stuck. So it was always the first name that popped into my head. Makes me wonder if it was like my first dead body that I'm like subconsciously remembering from like, you know, nine years ago or something like that. Maybe it was the first dead body I was on. Could be. I'm leaving Carl right where he's at, because I know that one thing about dead bodies, they don't stink until you... Well, they, stink, they smell, but they don't smell real bad until you move them. Oh, God. Oh, and hopefully it's not summertime, and the AC's been off, and the windows have been closed. Okay, okay. Anyway, I have to shut off my memory and get back into the game here, because... That was a that was a that was a nasty one. All right, got our tinder plugs, seven of them. That's a bit much. I'm gonna leave a couple here. That's pretty good. I almost don't want to get caught outside without a tinder plug though. I'll take four. Carl Jr. All the, yeah, I, I did. I actually started calling him Carl Jr. He's like he's my drive through. I'll just hit Carl Jr.'s on my way out. <laughs> yep. Alright, well, we need to sleep. Yep, okay. And temperature is good, really good. Get another drink here. Probably get some calories on board since we are going to start. Adventuring. I'd like to start with 100 in case it gets real cold outside. So we'll do this by um, condition. Well, it's not so much about places that you've checked. They can, I guess, they can. It can spawn in randomly. It's not going to be at a uh, specific location. It's mainly the hills. I pretty much hit. I haven't. I haven't been up to the uh, rail derailment yet. Um, 
I'll head up there right now and, and hit that area. But uh, after that, uh, unnamed pond and the unnamed pond cabin. But I, I have a feeling it's going to be off the beaten path because I've been around like playing this for like eight hours offline, and and for life number six of my YouTube thing and uh, series and. The, I haven't found it in any of the usual places. And I've looked like around the buildings and things like that in the very immediate vicinity of those buildings. All right. Hey, Rob, I was, I was about to status check you, man. I haven't seen you or heard from you in such a long time. Where you been? So... Good to see you. I was thinking about you last night like two or three times. I was like, man, I wonder if he's okay. Well, good to see you. Let's get another something something in here in the belly. Welcome to McCarl. What can I get you? <laughs> uh, at least he'll never give you attitude. What time is it? Yeah, I want my condition to be up higher. We're gonna get healed up. Wind's kicking up anyway. I need to eat more though. There we go. Gotcha. I understand. So yeah, I'll be. Uh, I'll, I forgot to tell you. I'm going to co uh, co college. I hate me thinking about classes now going to Chicago next Thursday and then we should be back like Tuesday or so so I'll be a little absent next week probably let's heal up here <laughs> hey man it's better than five viewers so good let me, let me go. Hold on, I gotta go through the list here. Let me see. Any any new folks I need to say hello to, if possible? What time is it? Oh man, it's middle of the night. I slept through the whole day, didn't I? Oh well. Hey, what's up, Colonel? How you doing? Yeah, it's like the sister company. It's like the West version of uh, Hardee's. All right, let's see here. Rack Racer, nice to see you. Sir Winalot, fourteen, nice to see you. Welcome, both of you. Everyone else, I think I've interacted with already. So sc screw all you guys. <laughs> no, just kidding. You just don't get a you just don't get a welcome to the channel. That's all. Light snow, please stay as a light snow. Partly cloudy. That might work, but the wind's kicking up a little bit. Ooh. Dang it. There we go. Smiley face from Racer. Oh, that's the unsafe water. Oof. What have we got here? It's 29 mile an hour wind outside, so it's going to be cold. So we'll just uh, we'll boil up some water while we wait for the weather to pass. It's actually a pretty good use of energy if you're inside and I'm not going to use my hatchet because it's pretty good luck inside just uh, using your bare hands getting the reclaimed wood that being said I only get two <laughs> wonderful wonderful thank you for the follow there Mr. Lawrence on Twitch appreciate it don't know if you, you probably couldn't even see that it probably didn't focus in time 
Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, yeah. Alright, let's... What's the temperature? It's foggy now. That's even worse. Oh, don't want to use the hatchet. It's unnecessary. Uh, you need to, if you say on the list, you need to put it in the list in capital letters. Alan, just... It's the list. It's... That's what Raph said anyway. You guys are having too much fun over there. I'll just leave you guys to it. Uh, actually, looks like it might be decent outside now. But I need, do need to cook up some water, so let's try to do that. So hungry. Yeah, Jack, I was, I was saying the same thing, but like he says, it's on the list. I was thinking in the meantime, just get rid of that splash screen until you, if you do want to keep it, just get rid of that for the time being and then fix it later. Because typically whenever I want to look at what day it is and all that, I just go straight to my inventory. That's what I always go by. But at the same time, it is kind of nice to have that sort of, like a new chapter sort of a screen coming up. I kind of like that too, so. Or how many, are, or how many fluffies there are. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I told you that they were going to stuff a freaking wolf in the Trapper Homestead safe. You get that last combination, you hit open, and a freaking wolf comes diving out at you. I knew that was going to happen. I was so paranoid that first uh, run through when they're like, oh, we got some plans for you. I was like terrified running around. I figured every wolf was going to chase me. Like as soon as I turned my back to a wolf, it was just going to come after me. All right. Sort of like that fleeing prey uh, instinct that they have. I'll we'll drop a little bit of this here. Oh, jeez, I'm fatigued again. I'm spending all that time standing around. Oh, am I ever going to get to go out and do some searching here with you guys, or what? Yeah, well, I'm still waiting, you know. Look at me. I'm still surviving. No problem. Throw that gauntlet down. Definitely like fighting words. Yeah, we'll eat, I think. Yeah. I don't know if I want to eat it or not. Yeah, what the hell? We'll do it. That's a lot of calories, though, just for 85. No, I'm going to wait. Yeah. Make it to daybreak. Uh oh. 
I forgot to check. Ooh. I just wasted some piece of clothing. Forgot to. Well, we're definitely going to harvest the toque now. I wonder what I lost. No, it wasn't the boots. The boots were in good shape. Ski jacket's good. Thin wool sweater. Boots. Socks? Maybe those are socks. I think maybe I harvested those back at the homestead, though. Basic gloves. Yeah, we'll harvest those, too. Figure out what Garrett said. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't want all that power to go to his head. He's nice until he gets drunk on power. He's a mean drunk. Not really. Okay, so we're in good condition, somewhat. I mean, well, let's just get moving. That's it. Let's go. Are you carrying any food? No. Oh, gosh. What good are you, Carl? What good? Wonderfully. Weird science. Oh. <laughs> That's not a Twitch follow. That's wonderfully weird science facts on YouTube. It's like a spam or something. I was like, wonderfully. Thanks for following me. Oh, wait a minute. No, he didn't. Oh, let's not go that way. Let's let's swing wide here. Make sure we don't have a wolf. A wolf in wolf's clothing waiting for me back here. Uh oh, he's running. It's never good when the wildlife starts to freak out. Okay. So I'm gonna check these hills back in here. And then I'll go across the way from the cabin and check those hills. And we'll see what our status is like when we're all said and done with that. Probably gonna move a little bit slower here. A little more deliberate. I don't think I, uh, I don't think getting up here is going to really do much benefit for me. I might be able to see a little bit into these hills, but probably standing on it. Nope. Okay. I think you need to add jump to the game so I can stand right here. Wait, right there and jump straight up and see what happens. We'll just let nature work itself out there. Oh, cold's starting to creep up pretty quick now. Oh, it's negative 31 degrees. Jeez, no wonder. Okay, we're not we're changing plans. We're not going to move slow. We're going to move quick now. Okay, secret location, where are you? Man. I think the secret location is like a sauna. That would be awesome. Maybe a hot tub. Yeah! That's what we need. We need a hot tub in this game. shelter behind that rock and a little bit more. oh negative 51 degrees Fahrenheit that is the coldest I've ever seen it holy crap am I wearing all my clothes or am I running around naked again oh I'm barely wearing any clothes but it doesn't matter it's still freaking cold God. oh man that's brutal dude okay I'm just gonna be checking this little hillside before I head back and try to warm up a bit that is nasty.
Well, it's warming up at least. It's only negative 50 now. I mean, what, where are we? Freaking Neptune or something? Jeez. David's quiet clearing, or Dave's quiet clearing. I don't think I've ever noticed that one before. I've spawned in there before, and I've come out, and I don't think I've ever noticed the name of it. Is that new? Is that named after uh, Dave Chan? myself a little bit climbing down there. One percent. Here. Eat up some pork and beans and then head back to the Trapper Homestead where it's uh, warm. Actually, if I could take a deer, I might take a deer right now. With the rifle. Preferably I let a wolf take a deer and then I shoot the wolf and then take them all. But it's going to take me a minute to harvest that meat anyway. My condition will drop even more. But I'm starting to get into like a survival mindset right now, rather than a searching mindset. Okay, I don't see anything out. Oh, there's one. Okay, let's get him. Alright guys, gunshot time. Make sure you guys can hear it. Because I did do a little tweaking on the gunshot. The wind's going to be a little loud. I'm just warming, warning you. Oh. Is he coming after me? No, he's just coming. Really now I wonder if I shoot this deer, if this, if this will scare that... That'll scare him off. Should. Oh no! Oh yeah, it did. Okay. Thought I was dead on him. Hmm. All right. Well, let's go grab some uh, food from the derailment. I did say that I was going to head up there. There will be some food up here. That should be enough to get me all healed up. And then we'll come out here and we'll check these, this area back in here. Is you can definitely carve off enough stakes to make it worthwhile, so I might just. Oh, that's a way up. Oh, yeah. I'll probably just take a, take a shot at this wolf, but at the same time, I'm kind of worried about my condition dropping too much while I actually harvest the stakes. It's going to take me a minute to do that. 40 minutes could be pretty bad when it's only 43 degrees inside. And hopefully, we can just get enough food from looting here. Oops. 
good deal. All three of them are here. Poker means best can I can. Oh, nice. saying it'll be on Twitter. Ooh. Get that feeling someone's talking about you. I think we'll have we'll be good on fatigue to get back without getting any encumbered, I think. That is nasty cold outside. Should put on the gloves, but I really don't want to stop long enough to do it. Just want to push on, I think. Can't afford to go hand to hand with a wolf right now. I was afraid there was going to be a wolf right around this corner here. Oh no, I'm in a bad way. I'm starting to see spots. I'm seeing stars. No, actually, we're, we're, we're in pretty good shape. We'll be alright. We got some good food. The most important thing. Got water, food. I'm going to use my uh, lantern actually to warm up a bit. That will uh, definitely help. Yeah, very good. You can see the cold bar starting to drop down a little bit there. It was pegged though. All right. So I need to eat, drink, and then throw the gloves on too. Um, then get some sleep. Really, that's basically it. That's probably a little overkill. 1900 calories. Or so. Yeah. I think 1700 calories, actually. Let's get a drink. I'm just curious. Is this now safe water? Bam! Port potable. Alan's all over it. That's not going to be that way for long. There we go. Let's see what our condition is when we wake up here. 76. That's pretty good. I think we still got a lot of calories on board, so we can definitely heal up all the way before we head back to the... Uh, Probably take the roundabout way back to the uh, Trapper Homestead because there's still a lot of food there, and I dropped a lot of water there too. So let's uh, let's just get away. We're still a little fatigued anyway. That should take us to 100%, I think. Oh yeah, I just read your comment there, Rob. Like farm animals from the road in the basement. Yeah, that's how it would be. The wolves have me all trapped down there. Yep. Oh man, I had my I had the chat all scrolled up. Geez, sorry guys. I was wondering why it got so quiet. There was like no movement on the chat. Like you guys got really, really quiet. 
There we go. Huh. Did it really? Interesting. For the gloves. So we take them off. Okay. Wait a minute. Let's go back in there. 37.76, right? Okay. We wear them. Hmm. Oh, well. It's pretty negligible either way. So. How do I end up all the way over? Oh, there's my bed. Uh, fleece sweater, jeans. Why not wearing any jeans? Nope. I was running around with no jeans and no underwear. I was running around completely naked in negative 45 degree weather. <sighs> Probably not a pretty sight right now. Okay, that's better. That's a lot better. Alright. Try to figure out what the heck Bill's talking about. I hate to scroll back up again, but oh yeah, the chat scroll got gotcha. you. Yeah, it ju it just says it just basically shows that someone tweeted about you and it says the name of the person, but doesn't actually show what was tweeted. Yeah, thanks. There's always one thing that I screw up during a, a live stream. It's a guarantee. Either like I leave my mic muted and I'm just sitting here talking for like two minutes, or I leave it on the spl like the st starting soon screen, forget to change it. Yeah. Or I scroll the chat up and screw everybody up. I hope I do too. I'm gonna hopefully try to try again today. I hope it's a nice day out. It's clear, which normally means it's cold. A bunch of unsafe water. I'm thirsty. Let's just get it get to the uh, Trapper Homestead. We'll take a roundabout route. In the meantime, yeah, I'm only I'm only gonna be able to play for about another half hour. I gotta wake up in about four and a half hours, and well, yeah, about four and a half hours. And start uh, getting ready for work again tonight. Another 12 hour shift. Negative 8 degrees. Oh! So cold. But beautiful music. Beautiful music to die by. There's the wolf, okay. Hey, any of you guys that are new to the stream or new to me in the game, um, if you want to see more of this, uh, head over to my YouTube channel, and I have like six lives. I'm, I'm on my sixth life for this game, and uh, you know, if you like it, I always appreciate a subscribe also. But it's Accurize Two with the number two at the end, not just Accurize, but YouTube is uh, Accurize Two. I think I have a link to it down in the description here in, in the Twitch. Homepage. Okay. Hmm. I think I want to go up there. Yeah, I do. 
Uh, I don't really count these as lives because they're kind of a little more abstract. Sometimes, like, I had one that I was going to make a life, but then I listened to the audio quality and I wasn't happy with it, so... Yeah, but, like, you know, if I'm in the middle of Life 6 and I'm over here streaming Life 7, but I haven't released all of Life 6 yet, it's kind of... kind of gets... Uh, out, of, out of sync a little bit. Oh wow, I don't, you know, I don't know if I've ever actually been up to this mountain. Up, up here, I don't think I have. Oh, this would be a great place for it though. Oh wow, what a view. Can't feel my feet. See, way down there, into the valley there. I wonder if I could actually see it. If it was like, say it was like right down there in the middle of that field, I wonder if I could actually see it. And I'm thinking if it was a hatch, like for a prepper bunker. Um, I would not be able to, but if it's like a plane crash or something like that, I would. You know, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be like, right on a really steep angle, I don't think. I think it's gonna be on more of a flat area, so like tops of the mountains, or valleys. I don't think it's actually gonna be on the hills themselves. Whatever it is. I'm freezing. I'm gonna, to, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get thirsty too. Oh come on! Can't be in these rocks. I mean, it's like solid rock. I don't know how you'd even begin to put one in there. Maybe it could. I don't know. Of course, maybe it's an airplane too. It could be on top of one of these rocks. Okay, so there's unnamed lake there. Fatigue's doing good. Part of me. Wait a minute. Oh, that's the. Uh, yeah, that's the uh, forestry look out there. You wouldn't be up here, would you? <laughs> oh. You just scared them all away. They think that we're not an English speaking channel. Looks like you're speaking Russian or something. Oh, come on. I was hoping it was going to be up here. So, oh, come on, secret place. Secret location. Alright. Hey, there's a wolf that killed a deer. We're gonna have to uh, steal some meat here, I think. That'll definitely help us out. Let's uh, prepare to uh, save a save a bullet and uh, scare the deer away here with this uh, flare. Hopefully, it hasn't been feeding too long and there's still some actual viable meat left. Come on, come on, come on. Probably. Sounds like a dog barking. Oh, are you kidding me? Whoa. Do not, do not <laughs> run towards me like that. Holy crap. 10% frozen, good. Oh, uh, well, it doesn't matter. I have a hunting, hunting knife. I forgot about that. Check it out. I can carve that whole thing up in like 40 minutes with that knife. Awesome. Yeah. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Alright. I just showed my age there, I think. 71% condition. I want this for my boots. I want that for my boots. Baby got a new pair of shoes. Oh, you son. You did hear it. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. Here's the lake. Oh, Jesus. I'm dehydrated, too. Oh, God. Okay. I, I got water at the... Hunter's Lodge. I need to get there. I need to basically head that direction. 
and I'll get there eventually. Please let me trip over a secret location. Please let me trip over a secret location. I'll take the stub toe and everything. How's my fatigue? Oh, my fatigue is not looking good either. Oh god. Okay, there's the tree that points you in the right direction. Right on. Name Pond. Wonderful. Okay, I'm just gonna have to walk it. What the hell? Why did I get a sprained ankle right there? I was walking up. Do you see that? I just got a sprained ankle walking up a hill. That was odd. Has anyone else ever had that happen? I know I use a bat bandage for it. I probably need to take some painkillers and then get some rest. Four hours of rest. Alright, yep, yeah, painkillers. Some Demerol. <laughs> Everything feels great now. <laughs> Look at me limping along, man. Oh, life just started to suck now. Well, at least it's well, at least it's only three degrees and not negative fifty again. Fan of Metallica, are we, Alan? Huh? Okay. What the hell? Keep going. I already got a fro. I already got a sprained ankle. Might as well fall down a hill now. Okay. I have an. I have an idea where I'm at. Just that big couple fallen trees and that place over there. I'm not going to find it, man. It's not going to happen. I, it won't happen. I, I guarantee it. Will not happen. Dead dude. You don't have any water on you, do you? Excuse me, sir. Sir. For all I know, it's this little weed here, and then you like pull it, and like one of these rocks opens up into like a cave or something. Uh, okay. Water, water. Mm. Okay. It's not that big a deal. We're doing all right. We'll make it to the Trapper Homestead. Just, it's kind of screwed up how messed up we are, though. Playing the jump. What happened to the viewers? What do you mean? Did something happened to the viewers? Saw me limping along, and they're like, "This guy sucks. This guy sucks so bad." So let me see. There was that. I think I actually need to go this way a little bit more. Basically, if I follow the back part of the uh, mountains mountain face back here. It'll take me to the Hunter's Homestead. Okay. Oh yeah, I know where I'm at now. Here we go. Should be right up over this hill. Alright, Blade. It's good to see you. You can? I never broke a leg. Yeah. <laughs> Jinx, <laughs> Jinx there, uh, pal. Screw it. Break my legs. You'd have to splint that thing, man. And be, you'd have to, like, it would be like rest three months. <laughs> you'd have to have, like, uh, you have to take it to the vice up here. Where the, uh, where your workshop is, your workbench. 
You have to put your leg into the vise and set the bone. <laughs> and uh, here we go. Trapper Homestead. Oh, yeah. Never any doubts. And then you have to rest for... Take a, a ton of painkillers. Then you have to rest for uh, three months. Man. I don't like the fog. Like what a what a depressing looking game. This guy's like got a freaking broken leg. He's freezing, starving, dehydrated, tired, sprained ankle. What am I missing for the Yahtzee? Come on. Okay. Um Yeah, so we need to get some rest. Need to get warmed up a little bit. Let's put our rifle away before I decide just to end it all. Well, I'm glad I kind of kept this place reasonably well stocked. Check it out. Got wood waiting for me and everything. It's kind of nice. All right. Um, you know, I do need to cook up some water, so I might as well do that. Let's do that real quick. Oh, yeah, there's fur firewood. I don't even care. I'm using the fur firewood. Bleeding, food poisoning. Yeah. Um, dysentery. I need dysentery. Anybody got any dysentery I can borrow? Hibernate. Yeah, that's what you need to do. It's when you should have like uh, the ability to find like a really good novel and just like like War and Peace or something like that. Some Tolstoy. Uh, good deal. No longer freezing, at least. Nope. I left a lot of stuff behind here because I didn't want it to prematurely start wearing, wearing out. Alright, let's go ahead and get a drink. While I can here. And we'll finish off taking care of ourselves. I do want to boil up with just a little bit more water, though, if I can. No, out there's poison. Yeah, I left that knife behind. Uh, go fish. Uh, I thought we were playing. Wait, I'm confusing which game we're playing. Old fashioned game we're playing. Are we playing old fish or Yahtzee or what the hell are we playing? Mr. Green in the conservatory with the candlestick. You know what? I'm a bit of a moron. I don't have any more wood. <laughs> I should have cooked that steak. I didn't have enough time to. Dang it. I have enough food. Yeah, I should have enough food to give us get us a little bit of Time. I should have cooked up a couple steaks. Steaks instead of cooking up all of that water. That wasn't so bright. I'm thinking we go ahead and forge for some wood. I wonder how much we'll get with fatigue maxed out, sprained ankle, and all this. Let's do an hour and see what happens. I'm just curious. <laughs> Mr. Fluffy in the dam with Acura Hensley. Hatchet degraded. Oh, dang, got five reclaimed wood. I didn't mean to use my hatchet, but hey. I'll take the I'll take the five reclaimed wood. I wish it wouldn't default back to the hatchet every time. That's okay. No hand holding. Let's cook up a steak. Kind of screwed that whole process up right there. Time for a Starbucks Frappuccino. Gingerbread Frappuccino. Oh, yeah, better cook up a steak. Might mess it up again. Steak. 
And I'll probably want to do another one. If I can. Nope. Not gonna happen. Be partial. It's gonna be like medium rare. That's the way I like it though. Alright. Man. Uh oh. Wonder if Grifter's gonna show up. It's my best friend. We'll, we'll find out here in a minute. He just appeared online in Steam, so. We'll see. He's gonna have to come help me get my uh, viewer numbers back up. Okay, so we got those calories. I think we're good. We won't see an increase yet because we need to sleep for four hours. We will see a little bump, a two hour bump in uh, condition. Not much though. I haven't been playing enough then because I'm drinking uh, Starbucks, which I don't think is in the game yet. Tastes exactly like gingerbread. Wow. was I worried about? Life's good. No worries. Back up to 100% condition. No more sprained ankle. Not freezing to death. We're not dehydrated. We're not exhausted. Um, what else were we suffering from? I think that was it. Starving. We're no longer starving. Alright, guys. Let's fill up our... Uh, well, let's take a look at this. I bet you this is almost worn out, this storm, storm lantern. Oh, it's getting close, but we'll refuel it. Still got some life in the in the old girl there. Drop that. Good as new, man. Like, what were you talking about? What, what, what happened yesterday? I didn't get the memo. Oh, wait. Did I never search that? Apparently not. More wood matches. Yeah. Grape soda, I'll leave that behind. See, these are still in good condition. They didn't disappear. Now, if I had picked them up and set them down somewhere else, they would disappear. So, it's better just to leave stuff if you know where they're at. And you're going to be moving around a lot. I, I think that holds true for this knife. It was like, uh, I want to say it was in pretty decent condition. Like 60, 80, something like that. 89, yeah. So... I'm not touching that until I absolutely need it. Can opener, what was that at? 66, yeah. I think the, the the deterioration clock starts as soon as you put it in your inventory. Alright. Let's take a look at our clothes. Not do basic oh we need to Wow, our basic boots are already back down to six. We need to do some repairs on those. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to walk over that way. Just as a part of the search. And I will... Uh, what, what were they at? Do you remember what they were at? I, I want to say like 63%. I think it was like 63 Alright. Alright. We're gonna fail this one. No. Sweet. These boots are in great shape again. Anytime real soon. What do we got for food? So yeah, I'll grab this beef jerky now. Same with that. Antibiotics. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it was 63. Let's do it. Let's head over there. Hopefully it's not too bad out. We got good visibility. Alan doesn't hit us with a fog storm. Negative 19. Jeez. Come on, man. Oh, whatever happened to those nice balmy days of like the mid teens? <laughs> Alright, so I've already gone that way for the most part. I think I'm going to try going a little bit this way more. I'm really focusing here, guys. Really trying to focus. I'm really desperate to find this thing. Man, it is cold. I saw that little bit of orange right there. Just as I came up over the hill, I thought it was right at, right on the top of the hill, and I thought it was like some sort of a, you know, artificial man-made object or something. I don't know, but yeah, that was that's kind of sucked right there. Okay, can I see anything here? No. Okay, let's try going down this way. Oh, that's a wolf! Damn it! Those are just stumps. Crap. Alright, man. Yep, Garrett, thanks for watching. Thanks for getting up special to join me. Good to have you, and good to see your comments, too, in the videos. So, I'll chat with you here shortly, I'm sure. Later tonight or something. Man. Come on, come on. That's just a wolf down there. Crap. I think I'm going to go around a little bit wide here. I'm trying. I'm trying to entertain everyone. <laughs> everyone. Right now we're just looking for the secret location that the devs have hid so well. Oh man. It's supposed to be pretty amazing. Unfortunately, it's negative 15 degrees outside, so it's like absolutely frigid. And, uh, you know, we never checked the uh, unnamed pond uh, cabin. Never went through there and looted that. So, we'll have to definitely check that area. Alright, um, you know what? Let's go back here a little bit. Let's see what happens if we go up a little bit here. We'll, we'll come down at the unnamed pond cabin. Ah, oh, man. No, Fahrenheit. No, but it was negative 51 degrees Fahrenheit when I had a... It was in the fog. I had a sprained ankle. I was freezing, starving, dehydrated. Um, what else did I have? Uh, exhausted. And I managed to, uh, and I was at like, uh, oh, there's a fresh kill. Deer got, or he's got a fresh kill with that deer. 
Um, I don't know if I really want to flare them off there right now. Because, uh, how many flares I have left? Let me check. Oh, I got plenty of flares. Okay, let's do it. Let's flare them off. Get away from that. Hey, hey, you. Get away from it. Leave him alone. Let him sleep in peace. Come on. Get away. Get away. Go on now. Get. There. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Alright. I just want to. I just want a little taste, that's all. Just a little taste. Alright, and I need I need a little bit of your skin for my boots. Oh yeah. Clear it. <laughs> oh yeah. There's you go. You got air air temp, wind chill, warmth bonus due to your clothing, wind chill bonus. So here's the wind right now. It's actually dying down. So yeah, the temps actually come warming up pretty nicely. Yeah, but my fatigue's a little high, so I end up starting to uh, crawl along if I uh, wait much longer. Yeah, man, it, I'm starting to think it is like a moon base. There we go. Let's loot a couple dead dudes here. Be jerky. Tinder plug. All right. Oh, another thing is the uh, flare that I'm holding actually gives me a little warmth bonus. So if I throw it away, you see my it went from nine to three. If I go up here, pick it up. Oh, not a burnt out flare though. <laughs> burnt out right when I picked it up. Never mind. Basic wolf score. Oh man, I'm like way overweight here. Yeah, got 69 pounds worth of junk. Look at how slow I'm moving. Get inside. Think anyone's home? <gasps> it's a dead dude. Let's see what he's got. Nope, not multiplayer. Flare. Down ski jacket flare. There is a story mode coming with some, uh, like the old voice of, uh, the old Solid Snake voice, the Commander Shepherds, both the female and the male voice from uh, Mass Effect, the lady who wrote uh, L.A. Noir and like Far Cry 3 and Gods of War. She's, uh, she's writing the storyline for this game too. It'll be out by the end of the year, hopefully. All right, let's see. Your down ski jacket. That's pretty good. Uh, I don't know if I want to pick it up though. Flare. I'll take that. I just used one. I do need to shed some weight though. Let's figure out what we can drop. I'm gonna need a drink. That's for sure. So let's go ahead and do that first. Larry Daryl and Daryl. <laughs> Bob Newhart, man. Wow. Yep. I'm gonna drop the unsafe water. Uh, oh, it's oh, I know why it's so heavy, or why I gained so much weight. It's this venison. So, let's see here. Do I have any wood? I do have one reclaimed wood. Should be able to uh, hook up that venison. So I'm gonna do that and eat eat one of those real quick. Junior, <laughs> junior assistant to the regional dev. <laughs> Ah uh, yeah, and some little some Dwight Schrute's running around here. Yeah, Alan Alan was poking about here. He's gotten quiet, but Alan is the uh, uh, technical director for the game. He was uh, lurking around here. Is he still in the chat, or is he he's off doing like development stuff? He's off doing dev stuff or something. All right, start a fire. Ooh, am I out of tinder plugs? Seriously? Wait a minute. Ooh, I am. That's a sort of an interesting situation to get into. Okay, start the fire. 
Let's not waste a tinder plug. Uh, September 22nd, it'll be out on Steam. This is the uh, early access for the Kickstarter backers. Who contributed a certain amount to the game when it was doing this Kickstarter campaign. Cook up some venison here. I think that's all we're going to be able to cook up. I don't think we'll get another one cooked, yet, cooked up. Nope, just missed it. Oh well. That's okay. We got 2,000.